Hi everyone, you're very welcome to this course on storytelling for training. This is a digital badge course, so we expect it will take you approximately 10 hours to complete all the materials. What I want to do here is just give you a little bit of an introduction to the way the, the course has been structured and put together and to orientate you in the virtual learning environment. So this is the Blackboard page for the course as you will see it as an enrolled student. So we'll start on the left hand side looking at the menu. So the way the course has been set up is there are four units and then a resource area at the end. And unit one is the introduction. So if we click into 1A here, what you will see is my contact details, a little bit of introductory material to the course. Um, at the, then at the bottom, you'll have the next button to proceed on to the, the next area. And then if you look at the menu down the left hand side, so there's two sections in the introduction. First is just a very general introduction in 1A. Then 1B talks about the structural elements of the course. We'll have a look at it in a little while. Then unit two talks about the power of the stories, unit three story models and unit four the tools of the trade. Trade. So we've divided the course up into three distinct packages of material and then within each package the way it's structured. So looking at unit two the power of stories you start off by, by watching a little video and understanding the, the key messages surrounding the power of stories and then there's some practical activities where you can play around with the material and develop a, a meaningful understanding that will apply to your situation. So in unit two, the um, didactic material at the start and then you'll be asked to do a reflection and have a chance to practice in 2B and 2C. The material for the most part is self-paced. The one thing I would point out is that we have one live session. If we go right down on the menu there to 4C or to 4B, there's a live session with everybody during the course on the 17th of May where we will come together to collaborate on a material. So going to the main window here, so 1A, you read the introduction and then when you're ready, click on the next button to move on to the next section. 1B talks you through the structural framework of the course. When you're happy there, please move on to the next section. So this is the first content section of the course, 2A. There's a 16 minute video introducing you to why stories are so powerful as a training tool and you work your way through the material like that. I've given time guidelines in each section. So a few other elements of the, the course just to have a look at. So the, if we go back to the menu on the left and go down to the bottom, there's a resource section where all the materials are put together. There's an announcement section for you to see any announcements about the course. And there's a calendar. Let's just click into the calendar quickly for you to have a look. You'll see, for example, on the 17th of April, the first piece of um, reflection should be submitted by that date. And that's just to keep you on track with all the materials so that we're ready to hit the ground running when we do the live session on um, the, the 17th of May. So anything else I, I, I need to talk to you about there? Let me go back through the section. So let me just look at um, what I haven't told you about is the, the activities. So there's a blend of formative and summative um, assessments. There's five short assessments as, as part of the course and um, they've been put together so to allow you to look at the material in each unit and make meaning from it. So each unit has been designed to have an introduction to a topic and then to delve into it in more detail. So your learning is scaffolded around a key idea per unit that is expanded on through supporting material from me, but also through activities from you to, to really move up those Bloom's taxonomy levels. So for example, in the first piece of assessment you do, this is a, a formative piece of assessment. So it's for learning. There are no right answers. It's for you to make meaning out of the material as best makes sense for you. So you're given some discussion instructions 
what the content should be. There are requirements. So for all the discussion posts, what we're asking you to do is post one new thread yourself and to interact with each other by responding to two others. There are some suggested dates in there and I've provided you with some prompt questions just to get your thinking juices flowing to think what might it mean. So in that particular video, when it talks about the power of stories, it tells a story from 1980s Ireland and it will ask you to kind of situate those in your own experience and to put yourself in the position of other learners and what they might be taking about it, for example. So thank you very much. My contact details are all on the homepage, so please don't hesitate to reach out to me.